Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Marco here and alongside the new Note 5, Samsung also announced a 5.7 inch Quad HD phone without a pen and it's called the S6 Edge Plus. So let's get into it. So imagine you have a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Okay, then take that tiny 5.1 inch display and expand it to about 5.7 inches. Then make every little tiny detail just a little bit more fine and more detailed and there you are. That's basically the story of the S6 Edge Plus. Well, there's a little more to it, but some of the buttons around the sides of the phone have new chamfers which make it look and feel a little bit more special. The phone also comes in some new colors in addition to the blue, sapphire, and white which include gold and this new titanium silver that will likely never see the light of day here in the US. The screen has also increased in size, but not in pixels. It's a Quad HD Super AMOLED panel that looks absolutely stunning, but if you want raw PPI, the S6 Edge will still beat it out. Now the hardware on the inside is slightly different as well. The main 8-core CPU, the Exynos 7420, is exactly the same on both of these devices. Two very fast quad-core processors powering the device, and that's all next to 4 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. That's one gigabyte more than the normal S6 Edge, and it's a little bit faster RAM as well. Also, there is a Mali -E GPU powering all the graphics and gaming performance on the S6 Edge Plus. Now, the battery size has increased to 3,000 milliamp hours over 2,600 milliamp hours on the S6 Edge, but I still don't think it's enough to power this thing all day, but we'll have to wait and see when we get our unit in for review. Flip this thing to the back and you'll see the same story as on the S6 Edge. A 16 megapixel camera of OIS and an aperture rating in F1.9. Pretty sure this camera will be just as good as the S6 camera, which means it will be best in class for 4K video and those beautiful 16 by 9 16 megapixel photo stills. Software wise, there are a few changes. The S6 Edge Plus is running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop with the latest iteration of TouchWiz. For once, I feel like TouchWiz looks the part of a good skin and the performance definitely backs it up. The icons have been given a slight makeover compared to the last iteration of TouchWiz and the menu systems have seen a reworking. All in all, I definitely like the software experience at first glance. One last thing to mention about the software is the slightly reworked Edge menu. Samsung is expanding the use by adding more quick launch features and hopefully more integration for third-party applications. But that basically sums up the S6 Edge Plus. It's a larger S6 Edge that will still include all the great things of the smaller version. That means you'll still have the fingerprint sensor, you'll have the ability to use Samsung Pay, and it also feels and looks damn good. Now the S6 Edge Plus is available for pre-order right now and the launch date is set for August 21st. But thanks for watching, now make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you found this video enjoyable. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna and I'll catch you guys in the next video.